16 months. That's how long it's been since uh, I won any auctions uh, from Greg Morris cards on eBay. I was checking my uh, old invoices and March of 2020, towards the end of March, was uh, the last time I purchased anything from Greg Morris. And it wasn't because I wasn't trying. It was just the prices were too high and wasn't going to um, overpay. So fast forward 16 months to July 2021, <laughs> and uh, I won a bunch of cards, sort of not really expecting to win. Um, one I was really uh, going after is the second year Reggie Jackson, Oakland A's. Really think this is a great card. You can see the logo uh, above his, his belt, the uh, Harmon Killebrew logo, right? <laughs> the MLB logo down behind his bat. That's really cool. It's obviously uh, Yankee Stadium, so it kind of uh, foretells his future success in New York and just a great, uh, great image of Mr. October before he was such, uh, even before the Oakland A's started winning uh, a couple of years. But he, uh, I love some of the minor league stats. In 1967, he set the Southern League mark for triples. 67, he had 17 triples in the minors, then came up in Kansas City, the one year right before they moved to Oakland, uh, hit four triples, so he ended up with 21 triples for the season, which is kind of a crazy number. And then they moved uh, moved out west. So shout out to Tony, psyched on baseball cards, of course, on this one. And this other second year Hall of Fame card that I was really going after was the uh, Mike Schmidt, 74 tops. This one's pretty nice. Uh, Centered pretty well. Uh, this is a tough card. 74 is a pretty tough set, uh, as many tops are from the 70s, but thought this Schmidt looked really good. And I think I won it for like maybe eight bucks, I think. So again, prices uh, coming back down to some reasonable, uh, reasonable lev levels. Another uh, 74, which I really like, is this Joe Morgan. And I still think he was the player of the decade in the 1970s. It's close, it's close, but uh, certainly some big red machine guys like Bench uh, are right there with him, and not to mention Schmidt and Reggie Jackson. Uh, but Morgan just peaked right in the mid-70s, back-to-back -back World Series titles, obviously, in Cincinnati. And uh, his numbers are just crazy, crazy. Love that card. I think it was a dollar. Then we got, fast forward, next year, 75, the Freddie Lynn rookie. Shout out to Picker Jim S, Red Sox. Uh, of course, showing Lynn before he continued his success in uh, California with the Angels. Then 76, Hammer and Hank Aaron, record breaker card. Looks funky in a Brewers uniform, but it is what it is. And um, the back's pretty cool. Passing Babe Ruth on the RBI list and um, gives you the top, what, 15 or so including Mr. Killebrew, who also had, what, just retired in 75 as well, so. Wanted to load up, um, I mean, once I won the, the Reggie and um, just thought I wanted to grab some 70s stars while the prices weren't crazy, I think the Aaron was maybe five bucks around there. So they're all very reasonable. Uh, and then also the first one, also the first one that I got was a Louis Tiant rookie. I just love the the uh, the Tiant sixty five 
uh, 65 tops. And again, another guy who uh, pitched in the 75 World Series with the Red Sox, obviously. Red Sox and Reds. But uh, Tion was a fantastic pitcher. And uh, his rookie card's pretty affordable. I think this was maybe eight or nine bucks. And these are all like VG. Uh, the only one that's really rough, I guess, is the Morgan, but it looks pretty good. It's just a pretty, pretty big crease down there. That's why it was a dollar. <laughs> so can't pass that up. And uh, yeah, just pretty psyched to actually win a couple cards. And um, yeah, I mean, I'd kind of given up for a few months. Yeah, we all know the prices were just out of control. Double in, triple in, quadruple in, in um, you know, such a short period of time. But thrilled to have won, won some cards, especially this, uh, this Reggie, which I had been going after for a while. But um, yeah, thrilled to, thrilled to get it. I think this was like 20 bucks, the, the Reggie. So great price on it. There's no creases or anything. And centered quite well, so. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Very much appreciate it. This little uh, 1970s run through some recent uh, recent wins. Enjoy your day. Talk to you later.